Hello students, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I am your English teacher. Today we are going to learn another new lesson from your English supplementary reader and alien hand. Students, can you guess the title of the lessons by looking at the picture? Here you can see some insects some small animals and a plant can you identify the plant of course it's cactus is it where does this plant cactus particularly grow see in the desert see here yeah, another picture See, the camels are drinking water from pond. You can see some rare trees and some plants. Such kind of place can be found in the deserts and they are called oasis. See, let's check it out what the lesson is see lesson number three the desert okay a desert is generally without water and visitation a green pitch with fresh water and green trees in the middle of a vast desert is a beautiful sight can you give it a name we just discuss it a desert may be too hot or too cold. Okay. Now let's read the legend and find out more about deserts. Those of us who lived in regions covered with forest and surrounded by hills may find it difficult to imagine what a desert is really like. The popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of sand where no rain falls and therefore no vegetation grows. It is dry, hot, waterless and without shelter. But this is not entirely correct. For those who have studied it, the desert can be a beautiful place. It is the home of a variety of people, animals and plants that have learned to live under such very hot and dry conditions. True, the ground is not always hidden by a cover of grass, plants and trees as it is in other climates. But whenever it rains, which is rare, desert flowers bloomed and the sight can be as rewarding as that of any tropical garden. A desert is not always a flat, unchanging wasteland of dry sands. It may have mountains and hills. It may have an oasis, big or small. An oasis is like a green island in the middle of a desert where a spring or a well gives plants and trees a better chance to grow. See, a desert may be hot like the Thar or cold like Ladakh. But generally speaking, if a place has little or no water and visitation, people usually call it a desert. Some deserts are almost totally without water. In such places, strong winds blow raising heaps of sand and depositing them as mount. These are called sand dunes that sift and move endlessly across the desert. Few plants can survive on such dry sifting sands. Comprehension check. Okay. From the first paragraph, say Roman number one, pick out two phrases which describe the desert as most people believe it is.
see the following two phrases describe the desert as most people see it want an endless stretch of sand and next dry hot waterless lane and without shelter you can find this in the first paragraph pick out two phrases which describe the desert as specialist see it you see the following phrases describe the desert as seen by specialist a beautiful place b home to a variety of people animals and plants that have learned to live under such very hot and dry conditions so there is a big difference in the views by the common people common belief and as viewed by the specialist who have actually studied about the deserts who knows desert better which do you think is an adapt description and why of course the description given by the specialist is more appropriate because they have learned and studied and done a lot of research on it so it's more accountable than any usual common belief mounds here means big hips next exercise the phrases on the left in the following box are good in the text match each of them with a phrase on the right okay the an endless stretch of sand it can be matched with you see nothing but sands as far as one can see roman number two waterless and without shelter it can be matched with no water and no sand number three an oasis fertile place with water and plants in a desert hidden by a cover of grass not visible because the grass is thick now let's continue reading desert plants and animals learn to require much less water than most plants and animals the camel is a typical desert animal smaller desert animals have unusual means of satisfying their need for water let's find it out all living things need water in order to survive the few plants and animals that lived in deserts have developed the ability to require less water than most plants and animals the camel popularly known as the shift of the desert can drink a lot of water at one time camels can do without water for days together the reason is they sweat very little we sweat because we must keep our body temperature constant we sweat when it gets hot and this cools the body camels can stand high body temperature they don't need to sweat and cane therefore retain the water they drink for long periods of time the smaller desert animals do not drink water the burrow underground during the hot day and came out at night to eat some of them eat other animals and get the water they need from the moisture in the meat others just eat plants and seeds and get the water they need from plant juices desert plants also adapt themselves to the life they lead cactus plants store water in their thick stems their roots lie close to the surface of the ground and quickly absorb the moisture from the light rains that occasionally fall the major features of all deserts is of course dryness and here bureau moved underground by digging moisture wetness adapt change absorbed take in completely
variations of temperature in humid climates. The moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the Earth's surface from the hot rays of the sun. The absence of this blanket in desert lands causes the desert to heat up rapidly during the day and to cool off rapidly at night. Deserts are an important part of nature's great plant. They are there like the dense forests and the deep oceans. Just because they are hot and dry, one should not look upon them as useless parts of the earth. We have comprehension check. Two. What a camel can do without water for days together. What is the reason given in the text? The, a, a camel can stand high body temperature. It sweats very little and therefore it can retain the water it drinks for long periods of time. That is why a camel can do without water for days together. How do the smaller desert animals fulfill their need for water? The smaller desert animals do not drink water. Some of them eat other animals and get moisture from the meat. They get water from the moisture in the meat of other animals. Others get water they need from juices of the plants and the seeds they eat. In a desert, the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night. Why? You see, in a desert, the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night because uh, it is due to the, obviously, it is because of the lack of moisture in the air. Or you can simply say it is due to the lack of moisture in the air. Exercises Do the following activities in groups. Describe a desert in your own way. Write the paragraph and read it aloud to your classmates. You can try this yourself. You can write the paragraph. So, for example, you can write that a desert, a desert is generally a place with little or no water and vegetation. A desert can be a hot and a sandy place. It can also be very cold. A desert can also be a beautiful place. A variety of people, animals and plants can be seen in desert. Whenever there is a rainfall in desert, flowers bloom and the site is very rewarding as any tropical forest. A tropical garden. In hot deserts, camel is the most useful animal. It is called the chief of the desert as it transports people from across the desert and can survive in extreme temperature. Like this, you can go on and on. Number two, go to the library and collect information about the lifestyle of people in desert areas, their food, clothes, work, social customs, etc. Share this information with the group. You need not go to the library actually during this uh, pandemic lockdowns. <clears throat> you can just uh, research, do the research and Google it up and check whatever information comes up regarding this. And you will find many interesting facts about the fooding, the clothing, walks, and lifestyle, social customs. You see, and do sharing the information you get with your friends. Variation means changes. Humid containing moisture. Okay. So desert is a place where the humidity is very low because it contains very less amount of moisture in the air.
now let's go to the pictures wash it here we can see the pictures of the cactus so there's animals and insects not animals see mostly insects reptiles so you can see a scorpion there see in night see during night it's beautiful sight see the stars and the moon crescent moon since the sky is so white and opened and nothing to block the view see it's so beautiful and this is an oasis the camels are drinking water Let's watch the picture here. You can see houses and people and a camel and the source of water. See, this is a dwelling, probably a village in the desert. See, this is a common belief that a desert is a place with no water and no visitation, but Desert can be beautiful too. A variety of people, animals and plants have learned to live in deserts. There is no green grass or trees, but when it rains, the desert flowers bloom and offer a beautiful scent. Just like any tropical garden. Deserts also have mountains and hills. They have oasis, which is a green patch with a spring or wealth a source of water desert may be hot like the third desert or cold like Ladakh those places which have little water and vegetation are called deserts so the basic definitions of a desert is the place which have little water and vegetation no water and vegetation and deserts, strong winds carry away sands and deposit them as mounds called sand dunes. Desert plants and animals learn to live with less water. For example, camels, also known as the shift of the desert, can drink a lot of water at one time and can't stay without drinking for days together. Camels sweat very little and so they can do without water for many days. Smaller animals in the desert say we roll underground during the hot day and come out at night as the temperature drops. Plants like cactus also store water in their thick stems. Deserts are hot during day and very cool at night and cold at night. Because there is no moisture in the air, the humidity is very low. That's why it, the atmosphere fails to act as a blanket upon Earth's surface. Deserts are also a part of nature's plant. They are as important as thick forests and deep oceans.